We're here at the Willett Holthausen, and uh, you have a new show about, uh, well, primarily about watches, but other things also, that focuses on one couple's collecting, and primarily the wife. Could you tell us a little about her and uh, what she collected? Yes. She was Mrs. Sofia Adriana Lopez Suasso de Bruin, and she was born in 1816 in Amsterdam, and in 1860 she married Augustus Peter Lopez Suasso a rich man, and they known each other for more than 20 years, but they couldn't marry because his father was probably against their marriage, because she was not a Jew, he was, and um, she was of lower standards. And when they married, they traveled along Europe every year. The first year of their marriage, they traveled for one year to Paris and uh, Rome, and they went even as far as Moscow and St. Petersburg. And on their travels, they visited a lot of museums and churches, and they bought a lot of things, like jewels and watches, which you can see here. When he died in 1877, she, she continued collecting, and she bought a lot, of, lot more watches and jewels with very fine uh, enamel and micro mosaics and uh, lava stones. She kept collecting till she died in 1890 and then she gave her collection to the city of Amsterdam to build, to make museum in her own house which was too small so they built the new museum, the Stedelijk Museum. And in that museum which was opened in 1895. Uh, the collection was shown in period rooms and with furniture of her collection. And great um, evening. <laughs> well, she was actually, uh, as I th think uh, I recall, able to buy an entire museum at one point. Was that part of this collection that you have? Yes, here? in 80s. Uh, 87, she bought the collection of the Broeker House, which was a museum at the end of the Vondel Park, which uh, before that belonged to one woman in Broek in Waterland. Uh, she had a room, f of a house full of furniture of, of what she called Broeker um, inheritance, but it was everything she could buy at auctions and something. And Mrs. Lopez Suasso bought this whole collection, and that made her uh, decide to make an, a museum of her own. She wanted to have her own museum, and that's why she gave it to the city of Amsterdam. Now, you mentioned micro mosaics. What exactly is a micro mosaic? It's a mosaic of uh, gold, nee, glass wires. They were torn into very fine wires and put in little pieces and then put together in a, in an, um, a scene of Italian uh, peasants or birds and that was set in gold and worn as a brooch or earrings or a, um, a collier. Mm -hmm. And um, they were also made of stone mosaic it's called Pietra Dura, hard stone. And she loved them and she bought it in Italy, I think. Italy was specialized in these uh, mosaics. Now it's a lovely collection of a lot of different and diverse things. I noticed there's some boxes and uh, objects like that. Did she collect anything or did she have a, a kind of refined taste in a certain direction? She liked jewels of what I said, mosaics and of lava and uh, 
blood coral, blood coral. And she had a fine taste for watches in different shapes, like a flower or a, uh, <coughs> a uh, bird. And they were all, they all have uh, small watches in them. And that's what she preferred, I think. And watches with enamel, she liked very much, with uh, romantic scenes. Well, Hester, it's a wonderful show. I thank you very much for being with us today. Um, and the best of luck with the show. People should get out here and uh, have a look at some of these stunning objects. En dit was het weer. We gaan terugspoelen. Klunet is even twee minuten op zwart. En dan zijn we weer drie uur met ons programma. Herhaal tot morgenochtend.